Do you have feelings for Asadaku? It's not like I like him or anything. Umejima-san, it's been a while. Yeah, you two know each other? What's the meaning of this? My name's Kent Asada. A friend of mine from college invited me out to dinner today for the first time in a while, and I was looking forward to it, but... So, I said I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you. But if I told you the truth and invited you out, you wouldn't have come like this, would you? My college friends, Kota Yukishima and Yuki Hanashima, placed their palms together in front of my face and apologized as they said that. I became good friends with the two, because we were all seated close to each other at the orientation held in college. I'm a very shy person, and I thought it'd be very difficult for me to make any friends. But they were both very friendly, and talked to me, and... We still keep in touch now that we're all working adults. I'm going home. Well, wait a minute. You guys do know that I'm not good at these kind of things, right? I was invited to a normal bar, but when I went inside, there were girls by the table. Apparently, a mixer party was being held today. We know that, but we're concerned about you. Come on, please. I won't lie the next time. <sighs> well, I guess it can't be helped. It's just for today, though, okay? They were worried about me in the end, huh? All right, let's go then. The girls are waiting for us. Okay, okay. To be honest, it's not that I don't like girls. I can have normal conversations with the women from my office. And it's not like I get depressed after I see them, too. But when it comes to my love life, I don't know what to do. Well, it's not like I can just come out and say that I'm holding on to my traumatic experience from the past. Sorry to make you guys wait. Oh, no, no. It's all right. They all look like they're used to coming to these things. I guess everyone comes to places like this. Hmm? She's... As we sat down and took a glance at the faces of the girls we had never met before, I noticed a familiar face. U Umejima-san? It's been a while. Her name is Umejima Yuna-san. She was my classmate in high school. And she was also what caused the traumatic experience. We met in the spring of my senior year of high school. I didn't have any friends and I was always on my own. And the only thing that kept me going was my games. I was addicted to a certain RPG, which was a huge hit at the time. And I thought, as long as I had that game, I didn't need any friends. Then one day... Hey, did you drop this? I turned around to see... Umejima-san chasing after me, holding onto my handkerchief. Oh, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Be careful, okay? Wait, this handkerchief? It's from Eraquet, right? You like the game too? Eraquet, the official name of the game, Aragon Quest. That was the game I was into back then. It was an RPG in which the main character, a fisherman, saves the world while he fishes. But the story was so amazing that it was known as an excellent game by the fans. And it could both be enjoyed by beginners and advanced gamers. Because you could connect to online and play it as a co-op game. I like it too. It's fun, right? Have you made it far into the game? Uh, yeah. I'm at the end of the story. Wow, that's great. I haven't even went that far yet. I... I see. Oh, uh... Um, thanks for the handkerchief. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, let's talk about Araquay again next time. Um, was it Akadakun? No, I'm Asada. Kent Asada. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not so good at remembering people's names. Asada-kun. I remember it now. We're in the same class, right? Y yes Okay, well, see you later. And this was how I met Umejima-san. Umejima-san was from the popular group in our class. And although she didn't seem like the type of person who'd play games, she began talking about Aragon Quest with me from that day on. Hey, do you think that this Aragon's strong? Isn't this boss a bit difficult to beat? This Aragon is strong, 
But I don't think it's a good match for this boss. Oh, you think so? I can't beat that boss at all. Umejima-san's not a born gamer. She got into games because of her brother. And she's not really good at playing games, so she'd often ask me questions about the game. And through Aragon Quest, we got closer, little by little. And one day... Hey, I can't beat this boss. What should I do? Th then, do you want to beat it together? What? Seriously? N yeah Then, let's exchange phone numbers? From that day on, we started playing games over online after school. Just the two of us. Alright, I'm counting on you for that. Oh, okay. Yay! I beat it! Thank you! No, it's because you were quick and good at it, Umejima-san. Thank you! I can't thank you enough, Ken-kun. You're flattering me. Seriously, thank you. Well then, let's move on to the next adventure. Sh sure Umejima-san, I was quite intimidated by her before, when we started playing the game together. But now that we're playing it together, it's a lot of fun. What's wrong? Come on, let's go! O okay Ever since I started playing games with Umejima-san, my life has become more fun. But then one day, an incident happened. I wonder how far we can go today, with Umejima-san's current Aragons. The next boss will be tough, so we'll have to go fishing for new Aragons. <laughs> I feel like I'm thinking about Umejima-san a lot lately, but I'll just keep this to myself. I was going to go home right away, because I promised her that we'd play the game over online that day too, but I'd better hurry home. Huh? I don't have my handkerchief. Maybe it's in the classroom? Let me go back to check. Hmm? That's Umejima-san. And it was Kaori Kamiki and Mei Kanzaki who were always with her. I couldn't just barge in. And I hid in front of the door and couldn't help but overhear their conversation. Hey, Yuna, you've been getting along with that guy lately. Was it Akada? That's what I was thinking too. You and Akada are good friends, aren't you? You two seem to talk a lot during break time. His name is Asada-kun. Yeah, well, we have the same interests. Asada-kun teaches me a lot of things and he's fun to talk to. Hmm, I see. So? So? Do you have feelings for Asada-kun? Huh? Wh what are they talking about? Umejima-san has feelings for me? What's with that reaction? How suspicious. Do you like him? Oh, c come on, stop it. That's... It's okay, right? We'll be rooting for you two, you know? N no, you guys have the wrong idea. Ah, uh, come on, you don't have to be all embarrassed now. So, like I said, it's not like that. We just happen to like the same things. It's not like I like him or anything. I'm gonna go now. But, well... You two are totally different, right? <laughs> That's right. It's like you two live in two different worlds, you know? <laughs> Th that's not what I mean. Umejima-san. Oh, no. Huh? Is someone there? Uh, Asada-kun? This is... Um, well... Oh, wait! What was I even thinking? I thought I knew that Umejima-san didn't like me. I even said to myself that I'd keep my feelings to myself, but why does my heart hurt like this? W wait Umejima-san. Hold on! Please, let me explain. Umejima-san, I think you shouldn't talk to me anymore. You wouldn't want any strange rumors to come out, do you? I, I didn't mean it like that. But even so... You and I live in different worlds. Well, I'm going now. Can't come. And so, my spring of life ended very abruptly. After that, I went to school normally, but I never talked to Umejima-san after that incident. And I never played that game anymore. I guess it was for my own good. 
Considering that it was an opportunity for me to stop playing games during the critical period of my senior year of high school, since I stopped playing any games, I focused on my studies. And I also felt a sense of frustration in my heart that I couldn't really put into words. So I studied even harder for the entrance exams, and I was accepted into one of the most prestigious colleges in Japan. I'm graduating, huh? It all happened so fast, didn't it? I'm going to forget about her now, and start a new life in a different environment. And like that, I met Kota and Yuki, and had a great campus life, and succeeded in starting up a company, while I was still in college. Through the networks I made while I was there, I'm still too scared to fall in love, even now, but I was planning to continue on living a fulfilling life, but it's been a while. Yeah, you two know each other? I can't believe you know someone pretty like her. No, it's not like that. What should I do? I can't believe I met Jima-san's here, of all people. Well, let's just put this all aside and... Introduce ourselves since we're meeting up for the first time. My name is... I feel bad for them, but I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Hello? Hello? Huh? Kent, what's going on? It's your turn to introduce yourself. Sorry, guys. He's not really used to girls. <laughs> How cute! <sighs> <sighs> I'm Kent. Nice to meet you all. So, Kent, you and Unichan seem to know each other. How do you guys know each other? Uh, um... We went to the same high school. Oh, really? What was Kent like in high school? Oh, yeah. I'm curious about that, too. Ken would say that he began to not like girls ever since high school. Oh, um, that's... Oh, no. I have to do something, or... Uh, sorry, I got a phone call. I'll just pretend I got a call from work. Sorry, I have to go back to the office. What? Really? Well, it can't be helped. He is the CEO of his company. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, that's right. The company's pretty famous. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> well then, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> Whew, thank goodness. I managed to get out. I'll have to apologize to the two later. I really didn't expect to see her there, so... I lied and said it was for work and headed home. After walking for a while... Wait! Hmm? Huh? Huh? Umejima-san? I stopped and turned around to see Umejima-san, who was supposed to be at the bar. What do you want? Wait, please listen to me. I wanted to apologize for that day. You don't need to apologize, because it was obvious, wasn't it? We live in two different worlds, Umejima-san. My tone at the time was probably cold, now that I think about it. But I wanted nothing to do with this. That's not true. What is? I just couldn't be honest. Couldn't be honest? What do you mean? Will you hear me out? Since she insists, I'll hear her out for the last time. <sighs> Alright, I'll hear you out. Okay, thank you. I'm really sorry about what happened that time. And what did you want to apologize for? I was in love with you at the time. What? But I got embarrassed when Kaori and Mei teased me about it. And I wanted to apologize right away since you heard our conversation, but... That's when I... I still regret everything from that day. I thought about talking to you on graduation day, but... I couldn't stop thinking about what you said to me that day. Since that day, I've been a little hesitant to make guy friends. <laughs> I know I deserved it. But then, today, a colleague of mine at work gave me the opportunity to go to this mixer party. I thought I'd never see you again. So, after seeing you, I thought I'd never get the chance to talk to you like this again. I know it's a hassle for you, and you probably don't believe me now, but... I didn't realize. Umejima-san was also... Normally... People might think it's too late to change something that happened in the past. But for some reason, 
I was able to listen to what Umejima-san had to say. No, I believe you. Huh? I was in love with you back then, too. What? Then... Yeah, we both had feelings for each other. Hey, can we be friends again like we were back then? Of course. I like that. Oh, thank goodness. I'm s sorry. I was so relieved that I got hungry. Then, want to get something to eat? I'm actually hungry, too. We began to talk for the first time in years. After this day, we started going out to eat together frequently. Umejima-san also hadn't touched Erake since she and I stopped talking back then. So, we decided to play the game together again. It's fun hanging out with Umejima-san like this. I really do have feelings for Umejima-san, huh? I was in love with Umejima-san again, but I couldn't muster up the courage to tell her my feelings. So we just hung out as friends. Then one day, while we were enjoying a delicious meal together, we were talking about Erake, and... Huh? Is that you, Yuna? Hmm? Oh yeah! It's really you, Yuna! What are you doing here? And... Huh? Kaori? And Mei? We ran into two girls who were my classmates, and it was because of them I was traumatized about girls in general. Is that you, Asada? Huh? Wait, what? Are you guys a thing, or...? No way! <laughs> is that what this is all about? Oh, come on! You should have told us! Uh, um... Is the same thing going to happen again? I was reminded of my past trauma, and I got uncomfortable, but... Yes, that's right. I love him. So that's why I'm trying my best here. Umejima-san! You used to deny that back then, though. Yeah, in the past, the two of you teased me and I couldn't be honest with my feelings. And, because of that, Kent-kun and I stopped talking and that's when I realized. I said some terrible things in the past which I regret. And now, I'm finally doing my best to get along with him, so please, stop teasing me about it. I knew that already. What? How long do you think we've been friends for? Of course I know who you like, Yuna. Yuna, when you were talking to Asada, you looked so happy. <laughs> but I'm sorry. We didn't know any better. And you didn't say anything after you got mad at us that day. So we decided to leave you alone. But we actually hurt you. Asada, I'm sorry. It's our fault. N no, I... Yuna, I'm sorry. It's okay. If I still cared about it, then I wouldn't be hanging out with you guys like this, you know? Yuna! Asada, it's not our place to say this, but I won't forgive you if you make Yuna cry. Uh, yeah. Well then, we'll get going. Even if you get a boyfriend, make sure to still hang out with us. Bye! Phew. I felt like I was caught in a storm or something. But I'm so glad Umejima-san felt that way about me. I'm s sorry That was awkward, wasn't it? No, I'm just so happy to know your true feelings about me. Actually, I love you too. We've been playing games like we used to, and going out to eat together as friends again. And that's when I've realized, even though we agreed to be friends again, can we just take that back? Okay. I want you not just as a friend, but as my girlfriend. Yes! I'm so happy! I love you too, Kentka! And that's when we started to go out. I couldn't thank Yuki and Kota enough for inviting me to the mixer party that day. And I immediately reported to them about what happened. They gave me their blessing and... The six of us who were at the party decided to have dinner together again. Both Yuki and Kota's love life seems to be going well. And they've been going on dates with their respective partners. Kaori and Mei are still good friends with Yuna, and they hang out once a month. As for Yuna... I'm getting back at you guys. She'd say things like that and tease them, for not having any boyfriends at the moment. 
and we're having a great time every day to make up for all those times we've missed spending time together. There are times where you can't be honest about your feelings when you're a student, but if you could just be honest and tell them how you feel, something might change. 